Fingers crossed for those clear skies for fireworks tonight. Before that, there's plenty to do to celebrate Independence Day. This morning, Democrats in Louisville honored the history of today by reading the Declaration of Independence. Governments long established should not be changed for light and transient causes. Leaders, including Mayor Craig Greenberg, John Yarmuth, and Congressman Morgan McGarvey, all there to read the declaration. McGarvey spoke before the reading, spending much of the time saying no one is above the law. And we started a country that is more than a place. We started a country that is an idea. The radical idea as set forth in the very words we will read today, that we will be a country where the rule of law is king, where all people are created equal. McGarvey ended his speech saying we are celebrating the 240th birthday of America and we hope to have 248 more to go. Well, among tonight's many 4th of July celebrations across the area is the Crescent Hill 4th of July celebration. It's back for a 39th year at the Peter Duminal House, but this year, it is one day instead of two. There will be art, a fun zone for kids, craft beer, even a patriotic pet show. Families that head out today will also get a little bit of a history lesson. The event kicks off with a flag presentation by the Sons of the American Revolution. We're going to have about 35 flags, which include the national, historic, and armed forces flags. Uh, we talk to people, they'll come up and they'll say, oh wow, I've never seen this flag before. What is it? We describe the sequence of how the flags were developed you know, through history, and we show them some things they don't know about. Something else to note, the 202nd Army Band of the Kentucky National Guard will be performing tonight at 8 o'clock, and then the Sons will bring out the flags for the national anthem before the fireworks show at 10. Over in Jeffersonville, they kicked off the day with an Independence Day parade. Bagpipers, first responders, and the JROTC were all there. The Grand Marshals this year included the entire student athletes of the Jeffersonville High School. All day, the city will offer face painting, a cookout, and more. And then, of course, big fireworks tonight over the Ohio River. Everybody already enjoying that fun. This is our first time. We're super excited because we're trying to get the word out about both American Heritage Girls and Trail Life. And also because we really have a lot of uh, patriotism and pride for being Americans and being able to have the freedoms that we have. And if you do want to see fireworks from downtown Jeffersonville tonight, wait until sundown. Those fireworks will be lit from a barge right in the center of the river. In Paris Town Point, they are getting ready for a celebration based on the forecast. Organizers say the show is still on, but the Artisan Market and the Kroger Fresh Express train rides are on a little bit of a weather delay. Music, shopping and more will go on until 6.30 this evening, and then the Crashers will take the stage. There is a donut hole competition with Jeff's Bakery sponsoring. It's a free event and fireworks will follow that concert. Now to some news right here at noon. Right now, Metro Police are searching for a suspect in a double shooting in which one of the victims was just three years old. Police say it happened around 930 last night at 17th and Gallagher. That's in the California neighborhood. When officers arrived, they were told that child was driven to the hospital. They later determined a 20 year old man who had showed up at the hospital with gunshot wounds was hurt in the same shooting. Both of those victims are expected to survive. And right now, police are working an investigation into a double shooting outside of Bates Memorial Church. It happened yesterday afternoon while a funeral was going on inside the building. LMPD responded to the Smoketown Church just after 2. For Elaine Douglas, who has been going to Bates Memorial for two decades, the yellow tape surrounding her church was just too close to home. And a motorcyclist killed in the Highlands crash has been identified. The Jefferson County Coroner's Office says the victim is 42-year-old Michael Moreland. The crash happened last Saturday afternoon on Bardstown Road at Tyler Lane. Moreland was driving the motorcycle that Metro Police say collided with an SUV. He died at the hospital a few days later.